Hello, hello. And welcome back to some Kathy rain. Uh, continuing from last time. So, what happened last time? It's been a week, and it's been a very long week for me, so I can't really remember. Um, I know we found out that the, um, what's his name, the brother of Lily? Was it Lily? I think it was Lily. The girl who uh, committed suicide, she, her brother had drawn a picture of him and Lily and the creepy bald guy, all kind of like hanging out and stuff. It's kind of weird. Um, but we don't really know what the deal is with that creepy bald, bald guy yet. So maybe we're going to find out some more tonight. Um, I can't remember much else of what happened. I know we caught up with the biker gang that our dad was in. Um, and they admitted to something. What did they admit to? Man, I can't remember. It's been, <laughs> it's been a week and I've forgotten everything. We'll just load. We'll for oh, the priest. They had something to do with the priest, right? Yeah, that's right. The priest was suspicious. Because they stole... That's right, they stole the paintings. They stole uh, the painting that Lily had done from Charles, I believe. And they stole them for the priest. I think I'm I think I'm remembering that correctly. We'll see, I guess. There's also this very suspicious horse, which I feel is gonna be pivotal to the plot at some point. But we'll see. Um cool. So what do we have? Botany book excerpt. Uh that was for finding the flower, which we have now located. It's a photocopy of a book page. Here's an interesting segment. Another interesting trait of the red scythe is the smell. The pollen native... Yeah, yeah, we know that. We all know that. That's fine. All right, let's have a chat to Grandma. Have a little chat to Grand. Whoa. Oh, good morning. Who's this? Hi, Kathy. Oh, what this is our friend, right? Morning. Or our this roommate. Is... Wow, this is <laughs> quite I'm not sure if she's actually our friend. You have such a lovely friend, dear. We've been chatting all morning. Oh, I have no doubt. She's quite the talker, this one. You sleep even longer here than you do back home. Oh, gee, must be the blissful lack of distractions here, E. Can I talk to you for a What the heck you doing in my grandma's house, alone? huh? Okie dokie. If your grandmother doesn't mind being left all by herself for a while. Sure. You Sorry if you can hear a bell in the background. Right That's you need me. Deja playing. Keep it down, eh? Uh, this is, yeah, personal boundaries. The fuck? Is the concept of personal boundaries new to you? That's a rhetorical question, right? Was a single morning devoid of Eileen too much to ask? I'm frankly surprised that I'm allowed bathroom breaks by myself with you in the same building. I was super bored. Besides, you never got back home last night. I wanted to make sure you were okay. Well, as you can plainly see, I'm not a corpse. You could be a very convincing zombie. Very funny. You can go home now, E. Fine. Get the hell out of here, huh? When I found Get out of my grandma's house. Then. Don't be like that. Ugh, I hate you. I'm so glad you asked. I looked up a few statistics for this county, looking for any anomalies. First off, there's a high number of missing persons reports in the area. That wouldn't be too unusual if, let's say, the county had a high crime rate. But it doesn't. Violent crimes are actually lower than in other comparable counties. Mm. Huh. That's just outright creepy. It gets even better. It turns out that this county has the highest number of clinically insane in the state. What? And guess what? Conwell Springs County is tiny. Per capita, the difference to the county in second place is humongous. Over a thousand percent. That makes some sense. I found out that this cocky person is locked tight at Ingstrom's. Wow, we should go talk to him, right? He must have some answers. I bet it's gonna have something to do with those plants, I right? Probably fill you in on the rest I found. Damn plants. Summon up with him. 
today and confront Isaac about the paintings. Don't you think it's a bit risky, Kathy? It could just backfire and piss him off. Oh, I'm hoping it will. Nothing wrong with some good old provocation to make people show their true colors. You never gave him the picture of the lights, right? Nah, I didn't want the guy to faint. He sounded pretty brainwashed about the Holy Trinity thing. And none of the church people know who I am, right? I guess not. So? My point is that you grilled the priest good yesterday. You already tried it your way. I'm a fellow Christian. Maybe I could try something different, like make up a cute cover story and pretend to want to join their church. If he still won't trust me, I can show him my copy of the picture. Maybe it will make him open up. I suppose it would give me enough time to drive back to the city and talk to Jimmy before it gets too late. Wait, who's Jimmy? Hey. Oh, let's do it. I'm so excited. I can't wait to lie to people. <laughs> you know that's... Yeah, are you crazy? Right? Oh, I'm sure Jesus will make an exception this time. After all, he loves me. I'm not going to waste any time then. Let's catch up on the phone tonight. Okie dokie. Talk to you later. She's going to get murdered. The priest is going to kill her or something. I don't trust him. All right. We're going to see Jimmy? Oh, I see. This guy. Hello, Jimmy. Engstrom Psychiatric Hospital, 3 p.m. Oh, is it for real this time? Yes. This is all very real. So you're going to ask me about Joseph now? How do you know that? Who told you? The Red Man. You did. Every time you came here. Oh. You're not making any sense, Jimmy. We've never met before. I'm making perfect sense. Everyone says so. I'm the sharpest tool in the shed. All bets are off now, Missy. Better buckle up and enjoy the ride. Forget all the rules. No going from top to bottom. No checking off all the items on your list. Start by asking me about the young chronicler. Who the fuck is the young chronicler? Is that his own option now? The raid man. Is that who he's talking about? So wait, let's just, let's just recap here. The black hats. That's the motorbike gang, right? Church of the Holy Trinity. Incident. We need to ask about that, right? Do you know what happened to my grandfather in 81? No, that's not the Chronicler. What? I don't want to ask you about the Chronicler. That's not why I'm here. Yeah, it's going to be this guy, right? What do you know about the man in red? No, that's not the Chronicler. What? Who the hell's the Chronicler? This guy? Jimmy? Wait, this is Jimmy, isn't it? What happened to you, Jimmy? Why are you in this place? No. That's not the Chronicler. What's your damn obsession with the Chronicler, huh? I don't know who the Chronicler is. Lily Myers? Was Lily Myers the Chronicler? The drowned girl, yes. She saw the oh. loops, the endless possibilities. She found that the branches had all been severed. Nothing but inevitability remained, staring her right in the eye. In the end, she was pulled across the Great Threshold, just like I was. I was next. Next for what? You're not listening. I'm next. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. Tell me about yourself, Jimmy. What happened to you, Jimmy? Why are you in this place? I'm not. I'm six feet under looking up, watching reruns without a care in the world. You know, Joseph was a beacon. His passing sent ripples traveling in all directions, touching all of us with burning intensity. In my case, resulting in immobilizing guilt. After all, I sent him out there. It was all my fault. What was? What did you ask him to do? Be patient. We'll get there eventually. We need to follow the rules. You said not to follow the rules. Ironically, with the men who break the rules. The red man. It's the red man, right? What do you know about the man in red? That's not the men who break the rules. The black hats. You mean the black hats? They're the men who break the rules? Indeed. Your father broke every rule in the book, did he not? That's a mild way of putting it. I feel your pain, but you will be free of him soon enough. I've seen you atop a great pit, dropping the last remaining memento of him into the empty blackness below. 
Your mother, on the other hand, that's a story with a different ending. You know, m Mom? How... how is she? Why don't you see her yourself and find out? It's complicated. Is she in here? The last time we met was... ugly. Looking away won't make it any less ugly, Kathy. I know, just not yet. Very well. Let's go see the man you reunited with his family. Hmm. Good man. Who we talk about? Red man? The man in red? Is that who you're talking about? Yes, indeed. Who is he, really? The collector of souls. The one who beckons and prepares. Some call him a spirit guide. Others, a devil dressed in red. You are doing so much better than the last time. Now, ask me about the first thing you can think of. Pancakes. Pancakes. What happened to my grandfather in 81? Oh, poor Joseph. Wrong place, wrong time, wrong friends, wrong life. An unstoppable force meeting an immovable object. There had to be course correction, Kathy. The house always wins. What did you ask him to do? I asked him to find the source and destroy it. For me, for Lily, for all of us. The source of what? Everything. The madness, the betrayals, the limitless suffering. How would he do that? I don't know. Joseph had a plan. He had allies. Allies? The aliens, right? Who? The man in red. Someone else, too. I found the message you left for Grandpa. You said, it happened to you, too. What did? Needing the lights, of course. Don't you have my picture from the night in the forest? You mean this? I do. Oh, yes. They felt so warm. So comfortable luring me in. But when they got close, I could feel my mind split in two. I found myself with one foot on either side of the line. The thin line between hell and here. It felt like breathing through my nose with my mouth underwater. No wonder some sink beneath the surface, never to be heard from again. Was that what happened to Joseph, Jimmy? Did he sink to the bottom? I wish I knew. I'm just a man stuck with his ear up against the wall, picking up a word here and there. I am so tired, Kathy. I can feel the lights even now. Endless static in my head, like a TV tuned to a dead channel. But what are they? Where do they come from? The cradle of obscurity. The Alpha to our Omega. The distorted mirror. Why are you constantly <laughs> speaking in riddles? Why do you assume I have a choice? We are nearing the end. Ask me about the misguided faithful. What the heck is that? Not Lily. Him? Is he the misguided? I don't know. Or the church dude. Is the church of the Holy Trinity the misguided faithful? They are, yes. What makes you call them that? Isn't it obvious? They believe the lights are divine. The lights are neither divine nor unholy. They are but a twisted reflection of us. The judge and the jury, our innermost child, our greatest fear. Everything we long for and desire. It's more than most of us can take. The cup runneth over. How do I stop them? You must go to their birthplace, their source. You must go to the cradle. It's the only way to save your friend. What? Are you talking about Eileen? Yes, Told you. She is being claimed. Told She's you. In great danger. You have to go back, Kathy. Yes. I need more than that, Jimmy. Yes, help. What the fuck? We ain't doing nothing. Well, that was interesting. I need to find Eileen. All right, we're going to the church. Oh, that's now an option. Okay. Disappeared. Are these still locked? Oh, 
It's not locked anymore. What do we got in here? Various stuff. Old furniture and William T. Price. So that's Father Bill. Looks more like a businessman than a cult leader. Probably is. They tend to be the same thing. Just old furniture and boxes filled with random junk. Schedule. Nothing unusual, just a schedule of typical church events. Disc. Found a large old key in here. A key? We've still got that hey, other key, what right? Are you doing in here? Oh shit, we busted. Cut the bull crap. Where is she? Where's Eileen? What in the Lord's name are you talking about? Red haired girl, I know she came here to see you. Tell me where she is, or I'm calling the cops. I don't think that's quite necessary. Where is she? Oh. Breaking and entering, are we? The hell? <laughs> For fuck's sake, just take me to jail. Uh, don't understand, sir. You don't sir. understand. My friend has been kidnapped. Funny story. Hands behind your back. Now! Ugh, you gotta be kidding me. Are we going to the slammer? You better hope that Father Price doesn't press charges. I want my phone call. <laughs> Can't hear you in there. Dude. You are such a fucking prick. I thought you were all about following the rules. A little vacation. I know I will. Is he like in on it or something? Well, this blows. And I smell like goober. Fan fucking tastic. Cuba. I need to get out of here. Who knows what that freak is doing to Eileen right now? Get the mop. Okay. Now what? Uh, that I don't know. Seem Push it over or something. Looks like the mop is within reach. Okay. Solid steel. There's no way I can make as much as a scratch. Can we like knock something over? I saw Lenny put my stuff in there. Not a bad idea, but it's just out of reach, even with the mop. Maybe the small TV. That combination. Hmm, worth a shot. Bulletin. How's that going to help us? Okay, that's not Oops. what I thought you were going to do, but. A bunch of documents, some pins, and paper clips. The paper clips. We can pick the lock. These paper clips might be useful. Not a bad idea, but they can't be used for that in their. God damn it. Okay, them. let's see if I still got it. Not perfect, but they should get the job done. Oh, we actually have to do this? It's like Skyrim. How does this work? Okay, then we have to just do the right order? Yes. I'm so good. We're out of here, mate. We'll take our shit and go. Okay, got all my things back. The key I found in the church too. How are we gonna get out of here? Uh oh. Huh? Hopes in jar. An inkier heart. Bill me, nemesis. What the hell? I agree. What the hell? What does this even mean? Just a bunch. Nothing else in there. All right, we just leave. Seems seems risky to me. The fuck is no one here? No, oh, he's busy. Okay. Sweet. Catch you later. We're just gonna waltz on out of here. 
Good thing uh, the bike was still where I left it. Back to the church, I think. So these places we can't go. Interesting. Maybe we should visit Grandma and tell her we got arrested. She won't be happy. Locked. Do you we got an old key? Nope. Not. Oh. What is this key for then? Altar? It's an altar. There's some doors at the back, but we can't interact with those. Hmm. Maybe we can pick this lock? Oof, no corpses, just a bunch of priest outfits in there. Nothing interesting in the pockets either. Wouldn't be a church without one. Locked. Locked. God damn it. Oops. Maybe we can pick the lock. Is there any other locks we've come across? I don't think there is, right? I should search the office instead. I don't think. Oh, that's what I just did. Where are we gonna look? We looked in the cabinet. Books. We're gonna look at the books. books. On spirituality. Okay. Window. There they are again. Did we look search the desk again? I guess. I've searched that already. Books. Nothing unusual. I wonder what the church was like back when Father Bill was in charge. Just old furniture and boxes filled with random junk. Hmm. I don't think there's anything else in here. Locked. Oh wait, maybe the keys are this. Nope, not. Not a bad idea, but it's not a tumbler lock. What the fuck does that mean? What am I supposed to eat there then? A photo of a younger father, Bill, with two boys. Probably Isaac and his brother. Hmm. There they are. Just old. She seemed to search in here, but. Is something behind this portrait? I wonder what the church was like. William T. Price. It's a small key, fairly modern design. We could try this key, I guess, but I don't feel like it's going to be for this. Nope. Hmm. Isaac's desk. Isaac's desk. There might be. But you said we've already searched it, so obviously not. I've searched that already. That doesn't need unlock. Hmm. I've searched that already. Hmm. What are we supposed to do then? Wouldn't be a church. We've clicked on everything here. Books on spirit. A small cabinet with a lock on. We try this on the disc. Oops. That doesn't need unlocking. That doesn't need. Hmm. The only other thing in here we can interact with is. Impressive window. The altar. It's an altar. 
but she says to go in the office. Maybe that's like locked. Maybe that's like old dialogue. Could lead to a sacristy or a closet of some kind. I should search the office instead. She says that when you use the makeshift lock pick, which you get after you get captured, so it leads me to believe there is something else in here. But I don't know what. A closet. Definitely large enough for a corpse or two. She won't search this again. I've right? searched that already. Locked. Books. A photo. Hmm. What else can we use on the cabinet? That action doesn't seem. <laughs> Didn't think that would work, but. That come. We'll just try it anyway. We tried the small key, right? Small key. This thing looks ancient. It's old and rusty. There's something inscribed starting with PR. The rest is unintelligible. Priest. Nope. Not a bad It's a tumbler lock. What does that even mean? I don't even I don't even know. Wouldn't be a church. There the What are we missing? We've looked at everything. On the desk we're missing. Portrait. Is it gonna have something to do with the portrait? I wonder what the church was. To burn it. I don't want to burn that. Burn it all. I don't. That doesn't need. Hmm. Maybe we're not supposed to come here yet? I don't know where else we're supposed to go though. I don't know. Let's go to the cabin, why not? Anybody home? Guess not. You gone. Locked. Hmm. It's a simple tumbler lock. You said that about the other one, and then you couldn't open it. That combination. What do you mean? It's a key. That combination. Wait. A minute. Uh, wait. Did she say it's not a tumbler lock for the other one? Breaking and entering. Damn. I'm breaking all the rules today. Any more creepy drawings? It's the A same bald one again. man dressed in red. Oh, creepy. That must be Lily. She seems very happy looking up at the red man. Is this how Nathan still sees himself? As a little boy? Who knows? Okay, what else we got? An owl? Life -like. Contrary to popular belief, I don't believe the owls are more than what they seem. Mm, we got a stove. Oh, this painting is suspicious. Painted by Lily Myers. We can't do anything with it. Looks like they barely touched the food. We 
they go. Looks like it's an early nice view of the lake. Mm. Okay. Seems weird we can break into here. Is there someone on the lake? It's totally overflowing with Oh gee. <coughs> Swimming lake. Conwell Lake, where Lily Myers met her demise. Fifty-five degrees. It doesn't belong to Hmm, okay. Where else can we go? Grandma's? Maybe we could tell Grandma we got a risk. She's not gonna be happy with us though. Grandma! Oh, hello, dear. Hello, Grandma. How are you? Mind if we talk for a bit, Grandma? Not at all, dear. What's on your mind? Well, we can ask about Eileen. Maybe we just need to ask around. Grandma, have you seen Eileen since this morning? I'm afraid not. What's the matter? Hopefully nothing. I'm just trying to find her. I speak. Let me know if there's anything I can do. I don't see a reason to ask her about that. Well, gotta go, Grams. Talk to you later. Bye, Kathy. I wonder what this key's for. Maybe it's for this. A robust piece of wooden. A robust. I don't think we've seen any other doors anywhere, right? Or anything locked. Oh, maybe it's for the crypt. I mean, it's all old and stuff. Because, like, who else could we ask about her? There's, like, no one. No one at the lake. We can't go there. Church is empty. We could try the nature reserve. And then the only other place is, uh, the graveyard. See, this place is empty, too. Oh, it had a PR on the key, so it probably is for this, right? Spooky. Holy shit! What are you doing, Vernia? Trust, father, but something is different about this one. It's not taking like it should. She may be protected. Yes, we'll just have to wait and see. To the fuck. Souls, then. Yes. They all deserve to bask in the glory of God. Sir, have you lost your mind? Taser him, quick. Hey, what's that? Eat this. Uh. Eileen? Uh oh. Snap out of it. No, the same thing as grandpa. Again, just like it did with grandpa. What did he do to you? Let's get these ropes off of you. Wake up, E. This guy. He had a key on him. It's probably for the church. Joshua David Price, born June 8th, 1961. 
died September 5th, 1983. Isaac's brother, perhaps? Perhaps. Blank. Barbara Price, born July 9th. Arthur Price, born April 11th. Isaac Jeremiah Price, the death date is left blank. Isaac Jeremiah hmm. Price, born March 3rd, 1959. The death date is left blank. William Thomas Price, born February, Father Bill himself. Agatha Price, born November. Henrietta, Father Bill's. Ernest Edward Price. So wait, who is this? Is this him? Oh, this is Isaac him. Isaac Jeremiah, death date. I he's just sure he's not a threat before leaving. He's just reserved a spot, I guess. How are we going to do that? Talk to him? You won't get away with this. You bastard. What are we going to do? Oh, we got a rope. Time up. That should do it. I better go get help before he comes to. Are we gonna go to the police station? They probably aren't gonna believe us though. Right? Oh. Alright, we'll take it from here. See should guys, I told you. What's her name? To the clinic? Eileen, and no, she's not physically hurt, it's just shock, that's all. I'll take care of her. Please just drop us off at grandma's. Alright then, but don't think you're off the hook for that stunt you pulled at the station. Considering the circumstances, I'm gonna refrain from hauling your ass back to that cell. Good. You better not leave town until we've sorted all this out, or you can look forward to a statewide APB. Got it? That's more than fair, Sheriff. Thanks. Good. Come by Good. the station when you've dropped off your friend. You'll need to take your statement. I will. It's my fault this has happened to her. No, it's not. You know exactly who's to blame. That vile man behind bars or whoever is pulling his strings. Go there, find out what he knows, and get to the bottom of this. It's I will, Grandma. Joseph, I will. But maybe she still has a chance. Well, I'm sure as hell not going to wait here for her to rot away. Good. She'll be safe with me. All right, then. I'm off. Grandma, you got to tell me about this horse out here. What is the deal with this horse? Driving me mad. This paint looks fresh. Cute red horse. It's some old. Damn. What was your deal? I'm kind of tempted to go to the church first because we have the key. All right, there's a key for the church door. Maybe I should save first. Uh, church, church search. Key with tag was a tag say. A small key with a tag attached, labeled storage A five. Oh. Maybe there's a self storage facility. Mm, okay. It looks a lot like the key I found in the attic. Ooh, you're right. Kill two birds with one stone. Uh, let's go and do that first. So now I'm curious. So I think we probably need to look it up. That's usually how it works. Okay, there's a place in town. Got the address, I should head over there. What's it called? You don't need to see. Alright, let's do it. Let's see what's in these lockers. Storage facility. Just nameless storage facility. What do we got? Open. The door is open by turning a, t a key. Storage A5. Okay, well, let's just, let's just hold your horses. We've got another key here. Oh. Aha. Okay, what's that one? Whose is this? Grandpa's? Pile of junk, boxes, uniform. So that's where Grandpa's old uniform went. I wondered why I didn't see it in the attic. 
So that's Can we take it? No. Empty. Found a tape in there. There's also something else. A custody appeal form for me. What? July 15th, 1981. I don't believe it. He he tried to get me back from my mom right to the very end. Where is he? <laughs> Wait, this is a dead. Wait, what? this is a grandpa's or a dead? Pull yourself together, Kathy. Nothing useful. Hmm. Just some old newspapers in those. Nothing useful. Just some old... Okay. Well, I guess we can listen to this here, right? Because we've got the tape thing. This is Joseph Rain. Operation Log, Part 4. August 8th, 1981. The area appears to be circular with... ...along the outer perimeter. I've determined that some kind of endothermic reaction is taking place. What is this? So it's important to be observant of changes in temperature. Find the is that what the thermometer is going to mean? Perhaps I can save them. Jimmy and all the others. Reoccurring dream. I'm standing in front of a huge black hole in a clearing in the woods. There's a man dressed in red urging me to jump. That man in red again. I'm afraid to, but I take the plunge anyway. For some reason, I don't think I have anything to lose. As I'm falling, I reach for the parachute cord, but to my horror, there's nothing there. That's when I wake up. Mm. Wait, so our grandpa tried to get custody of us, or did our dad try to get custody? I'm confused. I guess it was the grandpa? Maybe we can ask our... Ask grandma about it. What do we got? The paintings. Paint thinner. Oh, wait. They were trying to strip the paintings? I don't believe this. They're ruined. He must have used that paint thinner on the paintings. That means there's only a single painting left. The one in the cabin. We've got to use it on that one, right? That was the one that we saw in the dream. The Red Man. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to close these? Or just leave them wide open for other people. Can we go anywhere else in here or no? That is. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna go ask Grandma about this. The plot has thickened. Hi, Grandma. Listen, I found something in this storage unit. Oh? What was it? Custody papers, with my name on them. I was hoping you wouldn't have to see those. I need to know what happened, Grandma. Damn, oh, Grandma. Sharon was never a good mother to you, Kathy. I know. It was the illness. She tried her best, 
it wasn't all bad. You don't know the despicable things she and Brian did. Drugs, violence. We wanted something better for you. Joseph started talking to lawyers, staying up late at night on the phone, trying to find a way, some kind of loophole to get you back. But eventually we ran out of courts to appeal to and your mother retaliated with a restraining order. And that was it. She had won. I wish things could have been different. I do too, dear. Every day. Now you're getting me close to tears. Let's talk about something else. Okay, Grandma. Sorry, Grandma. I'm gonna go there. I've got things to do. Alright. They were gonna be dead or something. No, you're not. Hey, you're back. I'm back. I am. You guys want my statement? Yeah, the sheriff is waiting for you. All right. Sheriff, I'm here. Let's talk, Sheriff. Let's talk. And that's when I found that creep with her tied up in the crypt. Jesus. I had my suspicions Jesus. Sheriff, I never Why didn't you not believe me before then? Yeah. What the fuck, man? So, what happens now? I'll call the judge and get a warrant. If we find anything else, that bastard won't get away with it. Okay, can I go talk to him? Go ahead. Ask Lenny to go with you if you need him. Will do. Thanks, Sheriff. Lenny, let's Ain't go. Nothing of it. Need the protection, Lenny. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. What's up? Let's go talk to this dude. Uh... Eileen, we could ask about Eileen. I feel like there's no point now, but they already arrested Isaac. There's nothing more to say. <sighs> nah, I don't. Do you know anything about a weird bald guy dressed in red around here? You're joking, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoops. Ouch. Okay. Well, gotta go. See ya. No, you're supposed to come with me. What the fuck, bro? Hey, Lenny. Hello, Cap. Whatever. I'll do well, it myself. Gotta... See ya. I don't even need you, Lenny. You. You, sir. They've moved the mop away. They know the mop trick now. Hello again, my child. Talk, I talk hope you me. enjoy that cell as much as I did. For a man of faith, this is a room fit for a king. Speak what you will. I have all the time in the world. You creepy asshole. Tell me why. Tell me what you did to my friend, Isaac. I offered her to God, and the Lord accepted her with open arms. She is part of his world now. You're not talking about a Christian God. Of course not. I'm talking about the old God. Cthulhu. Slumbering oh my God. Beyond. What are you saying? You offered Eileen's soul to this God of yours? She is but one of many. I guided them all to the stairs of judgment. Wait. So you were responsible for all those people disappearing? Going crazy? All I did was bring them face to face with God. If they chose to reject him, they were beyond redemption. You crazy man, what the fuck? Who is the man dressed in red? No one that concerns the likes of you. Wait, Tell me. So you do know something about him? Certainly, but that knowledge is not to be shared with unbelievers. I'll tase you, mate. I'll tease you again. I'll paint thin you. I'd love nothing more. Why did you destroy Lily's paintings? Is that what you think I did? They looked pretty ruined to me. Like an ignorant child, you look only to the surface and not on what lies hidden beneath. Are you implying that the paintings contain some hidden message? Lily was special in God's eyes. A chronicler, a bestower of wisdom. As an emissary mm. of God, it is my duty to unlock the divine knowledge in her work for all of mankind. What is your church really about, Isaac? What are you trying to accomplish? The same as any other church. All we want is the salvation of mankind. By any means necessary? Clearly kidnapping isn't out of the question. A necessary evil. 
I look at the bigger picture, the greater good. One day you'll understand. You are quite obviously brainwashed. I'll stop you, if it's the last thing I do. You can try, child. I've got a Your pay for this. What do you really know about Lily Myers? Oh, the drowned girl is a conundrum. In life, part prophet, part mender. In death, ascended, united with the holy conduit. What? What the did fuck you does that even mean? Do with what happened to my grandfather? Alas, I did not. At the time, I wasn't enlightened, and neither was my father. But Grandpa showed the same symptoms as Eileen. Then he was claimed by God, without my guidance. Praise him. Whatever, Bert. I'm done here. Good. Now go repent, sinner. Alright. I'm probably gonna go investigate the painting. I guess that's why we need to uh, break in. Do we need to check the thermometer? Because I said something about the temperature changing or something. And shit's about to go down. Fifty-five degrees. Not too chilly, thankfully. I'll just borrow this for. A yeah, that's right. Where did they go? It's an early painting by Lily Myers. <laughs> Sorry, Lily, but we've got to destroy your painting. Can we like, what do we do? Look at this. The temperature looks normal here. Sorry, Sue. Oh my lord. What the? A hidden picture. Oh my god, that's Nathan. He's holding a girl underwater. It must be Lily. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Lily wrote a suicide note, so either she planned this or or saw it. Mm. Nathan is drowning Lily in the Well shit, what are we supposed to do with that? What are we supposed to do with this information? Wait, who's that? Nathan. Yes. Oh, it's Nathan. He looks older. I know about Lily, Nathan. I like Lily. Nathan, tell me what happened the day Lily died. I don't know. It's okay, Nathan. I'm a friend. I know the red man, too. You... you do? Yes. He told me to ask you about what happened to Lily. He said that you would tell me the truth because you are honest. You're honest, aren't you, Nathan? Lily was angry that time. Angry and sad. Mostly angry. Angry with you? Angry with everybody. Mama was asleep, Papa too. Okay, what happened next? Lily wanted to go down to the lake. She told me to hold her under the water for a while. She said I had to. She had painted it, and everything she painted was supposed to happen. I, I didn't want to, but Lily said she would tell Mama that I was bad if I didn't. But the Red Man says it was an accident, and that Lily is in a better place. It's okay, Nathan. Lily was sick. It's not anyone's fault. When did you first meet the Red Man? I don't know. I, I see him in the woods sometimes. He and Lily always fought. They did? Uh, about what? He wanted Lily to take her medicine. What kind of medicine? Medicine. Pills to make her less sad and angry? I don't know. Just medicine. But you know what? It's okay. I still talk to her all the time. You talk to Lily? And she talks back? Yes. Take me to her, Nathan. Take me to Lily. You promise not to tell Mama? I won't. I promise. Take me there. Okay. Take us, Nathan. Oh, this place. I've been here. Oh 
my lord. See? <sighs> Get away from them, Nathan. They're dangerous. <laughs> no, they're nice. Look. Maybe they can't affect him for some reason. He's immune. Oh, shit. Poor little man. Why can I not do this? And uh, met her end. Witnessed so much she could not comprehend. Claimed by the lake, she screamed to her god. Struggled for air as she twisted and clawed. That's the guy's the office. was in vain and her cries went unheard. It was a heartbreaking theater of the absurd. There, what there, the fuck? you're being dramatic. <laughs> no pain, no gain. At least that color looks good on you. Astute observation, Bill. This room does hold the key. Well then, it's been a pleasure talking to you. This room holds the key? We must go back. Jesus. What happened to Nathan? Shit, has gone. Nathan? How long absorbed. Was I out? You got absorbed. Um, I guess we have to go back to the church. Though it's kinda of dark, maybe we go in the morning. Ah, screw it, we'll go down. The dog. Hey, Cyrus, welcome back. The game has gone pretty good. It's getting quite interesting. The mystery is kind of slowly unraveling. Some weird, weird shit going down, though. How are you doing? How are you doing? I haven't had a chance to look at your list properly. I did have a quick, like, squiz through the titles of the games but i haven't actually properly looked into it it's been like a pretty busy day so i'm planning to have a look this weekend but i did see that you had uh stories untold on there which i have played that one and i did very much enjoy that game that was really good that was a really good one it had a pretty cool ending pretty cool kind of like twist Um, I feel like we played another game by the same developers. What was it called? I think it was the one where you play as like an AI on a space station. Um, that one was really cool too. I'm pretty sure that was from the same uh, developer. I can't remember what it was called though. This is gonna this is gonna be something suspicious behind this portrait, right? William T. Price. So that's Father Bill. Looks more like a businessman than a cult leader. Oh ha! A hidden safe. There's also a poem here written by Father Bill. Yeah, I can't remember what it's called. It to my notepad. But it was very good. I think I played through the entire game one sitting because I got just like kind of hooked to it. Uh, right, I lie in the center of the mark of the Lord. My wife gazes down as my sons stand below. I witnessed three dawns, felt warmth on my skin. Their radiant bronze lay nearby, not within. Oh, you can click them. From east to west, I touched every soul from lasting to brief their parts made a whole. I'm sure there's a hidden meaning in this, but I think I'm missing something in order to make sense of it. I'm sure. I'm sure. So I'm missing something. Yes, we need a code. Missing something. We get the poem. I feel like it's going to be something to do with the graveyard. Maybe the tomb. 
go check that out. There's also names on these ones, but I don't think it's to do with those. The Mausoleum. In the text, Father Bill's family members are used as reference points. Could he be referring to the physical layout of the graves? Hmm. I copy the grave layout to my notebook next to the poem. Okay, these graves must somehow correspond to Father Bill's poem. Let's see if I can figure it out. See, now if this was like a, a game of point and click done in the 90s, you would not get any of this context. You would just literally have to figure this out from walking in here. And it wouldn't even like tell you like this is to do with the poem. You just have to like figure that out yourself and probably spend 15 years trying to figure it out. So this is kind of cool that they do this. The only downside to like this is I guess it can be a little bit too uh, hand-holdy with kind of explaining a lot of the puzzle details to you, but it's also good in terms of like the puzzles not being ridiculous and like unable to solve them without looking stuff up. So. I'm I'm okay with it. Okay, I lie in the center of the mark of the Lord. My wife gazes down as my son stands below. So this is him, right? This is his wife. Son stands below. There's no one here though. He looks cool. Yeah, exactly. That was the only way you could get hints back in those days. They charge you an arm and a leg too every time you ring. I think I rung that one of those lines like once when I was a kid. I got stuck in a game and they spent about like I want to say at least five to ten minutes of the call just explaining how to like plug your console in and to turn your console on and it was like yeah you guys are just like doing this to rip people off. Like I know all this. I need, need hints. Uh, witness three dawns felt warmth on my skin. Their radiant bronze lay nearby, not within. From east to west. Touched every soul from lasting brief. Their past made a whole. Okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. It was... I think it was one of the Sonic games for Sega, Sonic 2 maybe, I got stuck and I couldn't get past this level and I was like, asked my parents, I was like, oh can I like call this hint, hint number that's on the game, because it says stuck in the game, call the hint line. You call the hint line and they just tell you how to turn your console on for like 5 minutes. I didn't even get a hint from it in the end because it was like, you know, they charge you by the minute. I probably like racked up a whole bunch of charges on it and got nothing out of it. Center above below. Is he defining reference points on some kind of shape? Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. I'm curious how many people actually rang that number back in the day. I feel like it was pretty expensive too. Um okay, line in the center of the mark of the Lord, my wife gets down and my son stands below. So this is like him, right? This is what's his wife. So let's have a look at these. William Thomas Price, Father Bill himself. Agatha Price, born November 13th. Agatha Ooh, Price. That was his wife? Or was this Henrietta his wife? Henrietta Ann Price, Father Bill's wife. Okay, so that's his wife. Ernest Edward Price. This was his Isaac son, Jeremiah right? Price, the death date is left blank. Joshua David Price, Isaac's brother, perhaps? Well, that's his brother, though, so it could be either of those. I know the Roger Rabbit game made you call a num- What? You had to call it? What the hell? 
Arthur Price. It's like micro this like the the birth of microtransactions right there. December 4th, Barbara Price, Agatha Price. Okay, so this is the wife. Father Bill William Father. This is him and these are his sons, right? So No, no, no. No, 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 stop. So this line here lie in the center wife gazes down as my son stands below I think I should figure out the center above so it's these no that connection doesn't make sense I mean it doesn't make sense no I lie in the center of the mark of the Lord What does that mean? Real phone number was in the game and you had to call a specific number for the game to get the password. Do they like charge you for calling it? It's pretty fucked up. <laughs> Center above below. Is he defining reference points on some kind of shape? No, that... No. I don't really understand what I'm doing here, to be honest. We know this was his wife, and this was his son, right? My wife gazes down. So it's here, wouldn't it be? Because his wife gazes down, his son is below. No. 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 What the fuck? I don't understand this at all. Don't know if specifically these YouTube videos on. Man. I feel like they would have charged you, surely. I feel like pretty much every phone call you made back in those days had some cost to it. Um. Wife gazes down as my son stands below. So these ones are probably his parents, right? And this is him and his wife. I don't know who these ones are. 21, 18. They're probably older. I am the center of the mark of the Lord. Center of the mark of the Lord. There's not really any center, because there's, there's nothing in the center, because there's four. Will Father Bill himself. And there's this row here is the center. I think I should. I think center above below. The points of some kind of shape. Okay. Maybe these? No. 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 I don't understand it. Center above below. Is he defining reference points on some kind of shape? Refer reference points on some kind of shape. I lie in the center. I feel like it's to do with these two, right? No, that... Because... My wife, if it's this one that's referring to. No, that. No. 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 I don't know what this wants for me. I 
Is my son's stand below? No. 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 I don't. I don't understand this at all. I'm gonna just get a hint because I don't actually know what the fuck I'm doing. This makes no sense. Um, I just want to at least like know exactly what I'm actually supposed to be trying to do. I wonder if this has hints on um, UHS. making me feel stupid. This does not come up. Okay, there's no hints. I don't want to just look it up directly. So that's kind of annoying. That grave is blank. That gra that grave that grave Future descendants William Thomas Price, born February 13th, 1931, died October 21st, 1983. Father Bill himself. Joshua David Price, born June 8th, 1961. Isaac's brother. Okay, Isaac so that's Jeremiah the brothers. Price. The death date is left. Henrietta, Father Bill. Barbara Price, born July 19th, 1921. Arthur Price, born April 11th, 1918. Barbara Price. Agatha Price, born November. Ernest Edward Price, born December 20th, 1898. Di Agatha Price. Okay, so those are the older Price, sons. Born July, Arthur Price. And lie in the center of the mark of the Lord. Is it like the center? So is it, uh, it doesn't work either. What the fuck? My wife gazes down. So we have, what, two wives here. Wife gazes down. As my sons stand below. Sons, it's plural, which would be these two, right? No. No, that can No, that Well, I don't know if we're supposed to be clicking one or if we're supposed to be clicking multiples here. I feel like maybe it's one per thing. Lie in the center of the mark of the Lord. Wife gazes down as my sons stand below. No. Like, no. is it just one that I no. click? No. No. I feel like it's not, but. No. No. Center above below. Is he defining reference points on some kind of shape? Center above below. No. No. I don't understand. Okay, I'm gonna have to look it up. This is very annoying. I didn't want to look anything up in this game because it's been good so far. But I just don't. Uh, grave puzzle. Okay, someone here has asked for hints. So let's see what they got. Okay, what is this? Day two, where are we? Day three? Or are we day four? We're day four, right? Okay. 
it says first part of the riddle make a cross and we're going to make a cross interesting align the center okay so it must be like this right of course okay. the sign of the lord some of the graves can form the shape of a cross it's kind of vague i'm gonna now, i'm just gonna only put out that out there dates are relevant when is three dawns? Filled warmth on my skin. The radiant bronze lay nearby, not within. So they lay outside of the cross? Is that what it's saying? I witnessed three dawns? What does that mean? Let's do with their age. Three dawns. 98 to 73, 1898 to 1973, that's more than three dawns. 1921 to 79 is more than that. These are all more than that. Witness three dawns felt warmth on my skin. What does what does that mean? Oh, we've got to click dates now. Okay, interesting. Is the warmth on the skin going to be to do with the seasons? The thing is, I don't know the seasons for like. I'm assuming this will be like set in America. We're in winter now here, so I guess like maybe it's this kind of time of year for summer. I don't know. Uh, the dates are also the other way around compared to what we usually have. Hmm. Witness three dawns. A dawn is like a day, though. So no one was alive for three days. What else could it mean by a dawn? Three, uh, generations, maybe? We got one, two, three. Three. These ones being the oldest. They were born in 1921. 33. So they they won us three dawns, right? Do we click like that? No. Maybe we need to click the three. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what you want from me, game. Three dawns should be three birth dates, but I'm not sure if those are the right ones. So is that wrong? Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, okay. Three birth dates. The radiant bronze lay nearby, not within. Does that mean they're not within the cross? There's only three that are outside the cross, though. Three dawns should be three. Hmm. Three dawns. I was gonna guess it. Three dawn. It's gonna be one from each generation, right? Three dawn. Three dawn. Three dawn. Three dawn. Maybe it means they're not within the same rows. Three 
three dawns. Three dawns. Hmm. Three dawn. Three dawns. Three dawn. Three dawns. I don't know. I don't get the radiant bronze thing. What does that mean? I felt warmth on my skin could mean summer, I guess. But like, what? What months are summer? The eighth. The third. Oh, sorry, getting these around the wrong way. The seventh. Maybe like here? Three dawns. I don't get delayed nearby, not within thing though. What does that mean? Three dawns. Three dawns. Three dawns. Three dawns. Three dawns. It has to be an allegory for something on the graves. <laughs> what does that mean? Joshua Isaac. Joshua David Price, born June 8th, 1906. Isaac's brother, William Thomas Price. Father Bill. Barbara Price, born July 19th, 1921. Arthur Price, born. Wait, what? Three dawns. It has to be an allegory for something on the graves. I witnessed three dawns. I witnessed three. No, we thought that before. Three dawns. What the fuck does that even mean? I don't know. What could it mean? Three dawns. Three dawns. It has to be an allegory for something on the graves. Allegory for something on the graves. That grave is blank. That grave is blank. Henrietta Ann Price. Born April 22nd, night father... Ernest Edward Price, Agatha Price, Barbara Price, Arthur Price, Joshua D. Isaac Jeremiah Price, death date is William Father Bill. Hmm, I'm not sure what this one is. God damn it, I don't want to look up another hint. Lay nearby, not within. Maybe that means they're not in here there. No, that wouldn't make any sense because we need to mark them on this. Dawn. No. Right, so it has to be three, right? Three dawn. Because the only time she like responds to three it. Three dawns. Three dawn. Three dawns. Three dawns. Three dawn. Three dawns. Three dawns. Three dawns. Three dawns. Three dawn. Three dawns. No. Three dawn. Three dawn. I don't get it. I'm gonna have to look at another hint. God damn it! This is annoying. Birthdays. Yes, I know that. This is the only clue it's gonna give me is birthdays. I know it's birthdays.
Lay nearby, not within. That makes me think it's just the ones that are not in there, but we tried that, right? Three dawn. It doesn't work. Man, I don't get this. I feel stupid. Uh. Oh, where's it gone? Mark the birthdays of the people around Father Bill, Henrietta, Agatha, and Joshua. There's only two birthdays. No, I don't. What? Three dawn. Three dawns. Huh? Mark the birthdays of the people around Father Bill, Henrietta, Agatha, and Joshua. Can we just mark these? No. Yes, that must be it. Three dawns mean three births, and they're all adjacent to Father Bill's grave. I'm sure I'm close, what? though. I just have to somehow narrow down these to the correct number of digits. Wait, what? I don't get that. We, I witnessed three dawns. Three dawns equals three births. What three births? There's two births here. I mean, she would have witnessed three. Well, she would have witnessed three generations. She would have witnessed one, two, th three, four births, technically. Well, she died in 79. Yeah, so she would have witnessed all of them. I don't get that. Radiant bronze lay nearby, not within. What the fuck? Welcome back. Hey, game terrorists, welcome back. We're solving a puzzle, but it's making no damn sense to me. I've had to look up a clue, and I'm annoyed about it. And even after I've got the solution, it's, I still don't understand why that's the solution. This one makes sense. So we have to we have to select these graves. So they mark, they relate to these graves here, which are. The family members. And so this one here was fine. I mean, I still needed a clue for it, but... It says, I lie in the center of the mark of the Lord. So we had to make, like, a cross. So that one I understand. That makes sense. My wife gazes down. This was his, this, this was his wife. So she gazes down as his sons stand below. Those are his sons. So that's perfect. That's fine. This one, I didn't, I didn't get this one. It doesn't make any damn sense to me. So I witnessed three dawns. Felt warmth on my skin. So apparently the three dawns is, they witnessed three births. So we selected these three dates. But I don't understand how they witnessed three births. Like, eh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to move on. Okay, from east to west, I touched every soul. From lasting to brief, their parts made a whole. So if we said from east to west, so from this side to this side. Or does it mean, if we're looking at the cross, if it was the right way up, does it mean from this side to this side? I guess it doesn't, because there's not really enough dates there. From east to west, I touched every soul. From lasting to brief, so it means from, like, I guess, from a short life to a long life. The parts 
made a hole. So last, hers was lasting, I guess, because she lived the longest, right? That was 1899 to 1979. So that was like 80 years. Then we had like 40, was it 48 years? And then Joshua was 22 years. So from lasting to brief. So we'll go like that. From east to west. What does that mean though? Maybe from the rightmost number to the left nose leftmost number? So like Oh, how many have we got to do? Oh, wait, I didn't confirm. That's why. No, I'm pretty sure that's not it. How many do we need? I think that's too many did. Okay, so it's going to be three, I guess. I think that's two. Yeah, okay, so it's three digits. Well, six digits technically, but three selections. Okay, from east, east to west. So east to west. I touched every soul. So... I don't understand what that means. Is it a year that everyone was alive in? Or a day that everyone was alive in? So we had 1898 to 1973, so I guess... Well, they weren't alive in 33, so it wouldn't be that one. It wouldn't be the... Okay, that does make sense. Hmm. I want to try and at least figure this one out by myself. I think this section tells me in what order I should pick the digits to reconstruct the code. No oh shit. I knew that already. From east to west. See, now the issue is... If we're looking at this as a cross, I don't know if this counts as north on the cross. Or if we're just looking at it as we're looking at it. Whereas this, this would be north. touched every soul from east to west i touched every soul we had 79 83 it doesn't really help does it Hmm. William, I think so? Because it was I lie in the center. So William lied in the center. So yes. I witnessed three dawns. So there were the three near him, I guess. From east to west, I touched every soul. So east to west. So maybe it goes like that. But which dates are there? That's the issue. Maybe they're ones that have like things in common. 13. Here's the 13. It's the only one in common there, though. Oh, 
Um, we're trying to get a code to open a safe. So I think we need... Yeah, I think we need three double digits, yeah. Because if we do that many, she says... No, I'm pretty sure that's not it. But if we only do two... She says... That's too few. That's too few. And if we do like four... I think that's too many digits. It's too many, so it must be three. So it's, I'm guessing it's one from each date. I guess. It's from lasting to brief. So this this guy, the son, he had the shortest life because he was twenty two when he passed away. Agatha was 80 and then Henrietta was 50, 48, I think. So from lasting to brief, so in that case it would be Agatha first, then Henrietta, then Joshua. What if we just do this? Oops. I think that's eh. I think that's too few. Ah, oh, what the fuck? What's going on? No, I'm pre. Hmm. From east to west. So maybe from. Maybe going this way? Oops. Pushing the wrong button. No, I'm pre. Touched every soul, so. I I would take that as we need one from each of them. And then from lasting to brief, from east to west, from lasting to brief. The middle page? These ones? You mean? This one, these ones have figured out already. So this one here gave us the cross shape because it was aligned the center of the mark of the Lord. So that was him in the center and we figured out that was the cross shape. In the middle one, I don't 100% know how that one works. Witness three dawns lay nearby, not within, so it was the ones near him, the three near him, I guess. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's only the birth date. Well, actually, it is only the birth date because we can't select from the uh, death date. It's only these ones we can choose from. And from east to west, I'm just not sure how that works. And then from lasting to brief, I feel like that must mean from like youngest to oldest. Oh, sorry, the other way around, from oldest to youngest. No, I'm. No, I'm pre. No, I'm. Hmm. From last into brief means, yeah, you could be right. From east to west. So if we went from lasting to brief. Oops. I'm sure the year is correct, but I think I messed up the format for the day and the month. Ah, uh, okay. They've obviously put that in for people like me who obviously we do day, month, year, not month, day, year, like Americans do. So... Wait, so we want to do... No, no, you're good. I'm going to be here forever otherwise. This one's quite confusing. I was literally just as we got to this puzzle, I was saying how this game is a little bit like 
hand holdy with the puzzles, but it's proven me wrong because this one's actually quite tricky. So it must be like that then. From lasting to brief, year, month, day. That's gotta be it. You got it. You got it. Okay, six one 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 two two. Cool. So that must be the safe code. That was a tricky one. It reminds me a little bit of the um, the Shakespeare puzzle from Silent Hill 3. That puzzle is a nightmare if you do it on the hard mode. Okay, so back to the safe. What's going to be inside? Oh, I forgot what it was. Something one 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 three three. Six one 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 two two. Whoo! Yes. Found a bunch of torn out Bible pages and a tape in there. Hmm. We must listen to it. The mending. The mending is the sacred unity with God, and the only way to reach true salvation. The Crimson One finds lost souls on behalf, on behalf of God, unshackled by time. He guides them and bestows wisdom upon them. He grants them dreams and visions, preparing them for the mending. The loving menders must then descend upon the stairs of judgment. Each step reflects a piece of their soul. Then they must face their shadow self. A servant of God, who will oppose them at every turn. Lastly, the mender shall perform the three holy sacraments. The three holy sacraments. To unite of God, three holy sacraments must be performed. The atonement of the mother, the absolution of the father, the contrition for the son. God shall then gaze up upon the mender. Sorry, God shall then gaze upon the mender weighing their heart. The worthy shall be cleansed of sin and be allowed to reach the sacred unity. Someone's written, written? Someone's written FB. Who is FB? Who would that be? I can't think of anyone's initials. The damned shall have their hearts consumed and be cast into the abyss. J-C-L-M-J-R Jer, Jer what's our Joseph Rain? That was his name, right? Our granddad. And Jimmy, was it Jimmy? The guy on the thing. Post to Facebook. Yeah, Facebook is worthy apparently. Okay, so these are the ones, right? This will be our dad. I think that was uh, Joseph Rain. This was the other friend who was in the asylum, Jimmy someone. She'll be in the photo, I think. The Crimson One. Ah, uh, where's the other one? Grandpa in uniform with two other men. Something is handwritten on the back. Yeah, it doesn't mention their names there, but I'm pretty sure that's those three. You don't do that. It's just those two pages. Is that it? Even though it shows three pages here. That's confusing. Father Bill must have wanted to hide these for a reason. So wait, what were the initials? F for B. What if B? Who would that be? Father Bill? It's not really initial, so is it? All right, let's listen to the tape. The tape might have some more uh, clues for us. I just 
just wanted to say... Whoa. Thanks. Wait, what? I'm glad you came along. You're my special friend. I want to sing a song just for you. Welcome back. Oh, I was going to say. Some stay dry and others feel the pain. <laughs> it's a nice little rhyme. We just did a poem before. It's very relevant. But I was going to say, you're a... Uh... Ah, it's rewind time. Oh, God. I was going to say, I feel like you only just subscribed like just the other day. All right, let's do it. Do you want to hear your poem? I just want to say... <laughs> Thanks. He sounds what? drunk. I'm glad you came along. You're he... my special friend. <laughs> he sounds I want terrifying. To sing a song just for you. <laughs> wow, that is a lot more creepy than I thought it would be. Welcome back. I was gonna say. Some stay dry and others feel the pain. <laughs> it's a nice little rhyme. We just did a poem. Before. Oh no. He got <laughs> No. But I was gonna say. <laughs> he's so creepy now. He's twice he's twice as creepy. Three times as creepy. He sounds terrifying. Oh my lord. Wow, that is a lot more creepy than I thought it would be. <laughs> that song is going to haunt my dreams now. Jesus. Oh no. I feel like I do need to put a time limit on these because this is going to get out of hand very quickly. Oh, applause doesn't work. Applause. Oh no. It's alright, just get it all out of your system. This <laughs> sounds terrifying. <laughs> that song is gonna hold my dreams. <laughs> it's gonna be a very long stream. If I can do any personal time on these, because. It's gonna get out of hand very quickly. Wait, I'm not close to the <laughs> Yeah, I'll just work. be here all night. Close. Time to actually fix my shortcuts. Okay, it's repeating now, so. <laughs> that song is gonna hold my dreams now. <laughs> okay. We're good, we're done. Is it? It's over. Oh, what the hell? Okay, we're applauding apparently. We're applauding that. It's beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Cyrus is not. Cyrus is not impressed. I've got to say though, Kazoo Kid is a lot more terrifying in slow mo. We have found out. Okay, um, what were we doing? Oh yeah, the tape. We got another tape. 
We must listen. Listen carefully. What sort of <laughs> Maybe I should put a timer on it. I don't know. You guys are abusing your privileges. This is William T. Price. My visions concerning my sons are troubling. I've watched them become corrupted with pride, turning their backs on our prophet, the Crimson One. I've seen How dare the they? history of the church wiped clean, replaced with trickery and lies. This message is part of a fail-safe, should these predictions come to pass. I've hidden it so that only the true agents of the old God, selected by the Crimson One, may find it. Now, heed these words. You must stare into the abyss and let the abyss stare back into you. It's the only way to cleanse yourself of sin and achieve true salvation. May God be with you. Thanks, Father. I don't know how that helps me, but I'll take that into account. The joke gets old quickly. I don't know. I'll put a time. I might put. I don't actually know if I can put a timer on those, but I'll see. Maybe a couple minutes or something. Oh, quickly! I see. Yeah. Oh God. Okay. I don't know how this helps me. Locked. Maybe we can just go tell Grandma this. Grandma has all the answers. Okay, we can't go to these places anymore. These are all off limits. It's probably good though, that kind of narrows down how much searching we need to do. I know, right? She's got a pretty, pretty uh, cool bike. There. She's a badass. Sadly not, dear. She looks like a mermaid. Some mermaid friend. There are a few things I need to ask you, Grandma. Very well, dear. Tell me about the Crimson One. Have you heard about someone or something called the Crimson One? Goodness, dear. You're giving me the chills. <laughs> I Sorry, Grandma. I recall your grandfather mumbling that word in his sleep. Crimson. He did? Crimson. After he had the injury? Yes, he rarely spoke at all, but that's the single word I can clearly remember. Strange. Hmm, very strange. Grandpa, why were you doing this? Uh... Okay, that's all I need. <laughs> very strange. Okay, that's all. Goodbye. I'm sorry, E. No, no, she's bound by a mermaid. It's like when a cat's laying on your lap and you just... That's that's your life. Your life is now a bed. It's kind of what's happening with Grandma, I think. Why does it say community challenge ended? Does that mean we reached the goal? I don't remember what I put the goal as. I'll have to check that later. Maybe I'll just extend it otherwise. Um, okay. Sheriff. We're gonna tell the sheriff what we found. Sure, or maybe we can go talk to him. We probably gotta to talk to this guy, right? That makes more sense. Oh. Nice work, Game Terrorist. Very nice work. We can get some more yeeting going on. I have more things to say to you. Speak what you will, godless one. Godless one? How dare you? What is your church really about, Isaac? What are you trying to accomplish? The same as any other church. All we want is the salvation of mankind. By any means necessary? Clearly kidnapping isn't out of the question. A necessary evil. I look at the bigger picture, the greater good. One day you'll understand. Nice. You are quite obviously brainwashed. I'll stop you, if it's the last thing I do. You can try, child. I have God on my side. He's not helping you get out of this prison, is he? Where is he now, huh? Where is he? Who is the Crimson One? No one that concerns the likes of you. Wait, so you do know something about him? Certainly, but that knowledge is not to be shared with unbelievers. He's got an anime on his side. I'm Apparently. Done. Good. 
Now go repent, sinner. What are we gonna do? Maybe we show them the Bible pages. What you gotta say about these, huh? What I found in the church, Isaac. Come to gloat, have you? I see that you've added stealing to your list of sins. Honestly, I just want to understand. What does it all mean? The mending? I don't believe you're sincere for a second. I will speak of this no longer. I'm very sincere. Look, I've even been listening to your audio tapes. Listen to this, Isaac. This is William a mixtape. What is this? I've watched them become corrupted with pride. Hear that, buddy? On our prophet, the crimson one. I've seen the history of the church wiped clean, replaced with trickery and lies. This message is part of a fail, say. Mm. I don't believe it. Father saw all of this coming. God, have I strayed from the faith? It's not too late to redeem yourself, Isaac. I've met the crimson one. We are on the same side. Preposterous. No Preposterous. He's been apostate since father's death. I've been north of the I've seen him. But he's nowhere to be found. He abandoned us all. He's bold and scary. Work now rests upon my shoulders. You believe that you are carrying out the work of the Crimson One? Don't think I can't hear that mocking tone of yours. I will speak of this no longer. Mate, come on. He mentioned north of the lake. That's part of Conwell Woods. Oh, we're gonna go there. probably have to narrow it down more, but it's something. North? Oh, okay, we can go there now. Okay, let's do it. We need to leave. How do we... Father, have you abandoned me? I yes. will atone for my sins, I swear it. You've been a bad boy. Have mercy on me. Been kidnapping and shit. What the hell, man? All right, where are we going? Conwell Woods. What will we find? Satan. The aliens. What do we got? Some wood. Some br some twigs. North. Yes, you go north. Let's go. Let's save. It's been a little while since I saved. Uh. Woodland hike. 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 Hello. Just keep going north. We can go. Maybe we've got to, like. Maybe there's a specific route we're supposed to take. I was going to keep going north. This is my plan. Ones here does a bit. Oh shit! We've done a loop. What the? How did I get back here? I must be going in circles. Hmm. Ah, uh, is it gonna be the thermometer? Are we gonna need the thermometer. Hmm. It's gonna be the thermometer, isn't it? I think it said it got warmer when we were getting closer to whatever the hell the thing was. Same temperature. This definitely has a quest for glory feel to it with these screens. Be some like freaky creatures are gonna jump out. I'm gonna have to fight them. Okay, I feel like this thermometer isn't moving at all. It's going down. So that means we're not supposed to go that way, because it's going down. It's going up here. No. Shit. What did it say? Was it on the tape? Uh, operation, was it this one? One of them said about... Lost 
Prague, Part 4. August 8th, 1981. The area appears to be circular with... ...along the outer perimeter. I've determined that some kind of endothermic reaction is taking place. So it's important to be observant of changes in temperature. Okay, it doesn't say hot or cold. Find the source by severing the... It's just changes of temperature, so I think when we see this fluctuate, it's the right direction. Um, she takes notes of... Like, these kind of, like, context... Uh, what'd you call them? I don't know what you call them. Like, the context things for, for conversation. Uh, those automatically appear as you kind of progress. And she did take notes earlier for that puzzle. I don't know, you might have missed that puzzle. So, it's kind of, kind of automatic, which is handy. So it stays the same. Stays the same. So it goes down here, so I think we go this way. This way? Mm hmm seems to be working. God, it's a hole. My God, what is this place? Meet her end. Met her oh, end. Oh, meet her end, sorry. Someone left this message here for me. Oh, my Lord. These are the flowers, right? It's the red scythe flower. Yeah. Must be hundreds of them here. Think about it. So much for being endangered. Huh. This is safe again. That's probably a good idea. Say it often. You are somewhat reckless. What is that, uh, what was his name? Shinji Eater. It's holes for me. We can smell the flowers. I feel like it's a bad idea because a huge hole with no visible bottom. The flowers I feel are like not good. But we're gonna do it anyway. Amagara is the one. That's creepy. That's creepy ass Intense. manga. Oh, they're making me a bit dizzy. We're gonna pass out now. Oh shit! <laughs> There's an escalator. How convenient. Greetings. It's the crimson man. He's here. You again. Me again. You better have some answers, Crimson One. All in due time. Your friend is being claimed by the darkness. She's standing on the brink of the abyss as we speak. Are you talking about Eileen? Yes. If you wish to save her, you must descend. Oh. Why? What is down there? The tribulation. The reflection of the soul. We call it... The Mending. Who's we? My kind. Servants of the old god. To what end do you serve it's the Cthulhu, god? he's down there. What does he's your waiting. kind actually want? All we want is for you to take your medicine, Kathy. For you to grow and be happy. If that's the case, why were all those people hurt? Lily? Jimmy? Grandpa? You misunderstand. What one wants... And what one is able to do are two different things. Happiness is not a one-way street. It mm, exactly. Given. It's like Cthulhu's down there. Your grandfather understood that. He embraced it. Wait, you saw Grandpa? Oh yes, right here. He was a tortured soul, desperate for some kind of meaning after losing the light of his life. 
you. Oh. He sought the power below, the vessel of redemption. But Grandpa didn't make it. He failed. How could I succeed when he wasn't able to? He was so much stronger than me, so much braver. Is that what you believe? Perhaps you don't know him as well as you think. But why me? Why are you making me do this? Because you so desperately need it, Kathy. You're haunted by your past, by all these painful memories long forgotten. They follow you like a shadow, pulling you down. They taint your every thought, impulse, and deep desire. It is foul to us. This is crazy. I could just walk away, get on my bike and drive, forget I was ever here. <laughs> no longer play off the smash. There's nothing stopping you. Billy, is it you? Eileen. Is that what you've been up to? Living in weird holes and wearing that. mascara? Are we going in? Oh god. Don't. Oh shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was some good timing. Where in the hell are we now? This is Grandma's house. Surreal. I like what it she's done like to the place. Grandma's, but different. Hey, where'd all my things go? My pockets are empty. Been robbed. Shit. The horse is gone. He took the horse. An old elevator. I don't see any way to open it. Gears are moving behind the window. Am I inside some huge, bizarre machine? This is where Cthulhu lives. The paintings resemble TV static. Guess the reception down here isn't too good. Good one, Kathy. Good one. What else we got? Iron book? Lamp? Can we turn it on? There was a pen hidden inside. A pen? Who would do such a thing? Oh, and am I playing the Professor Layton series? What is this? What is this series? Oh. That's our granddad. Eileen was here too. It's not something to play. Is it like a horror kind of thing? I'm, I'm down for that. It's a horror kind of thing. Looks like Grandpa and Eileen have both signed already. We must sign too. Similar to this, but on this. Oh, okay. Interesting. Maybe I could emulate it. Yeah. Might look into it. What the? Ah, uh, what's me? You're not supposed to be here. Who are you? You look just like me. I should ask you the same thing. Shadow Foster. Kathy. Do you like what? Some we other do unconventional have? ways. Don't you just want to kill her sometimes? I know I do. What's your problem, Kathy? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I'm gonna look it up. You don't know anything, do you? Now, I'd love to stay in chat, doppelganger, but I have more important things to do. Ta-ta. I got a good list from Cyrus as well for some point and clicks to play, so i got some researching to do, I think. Some games. So I'll add that. Investigation, but with puzzles. I like the sound of that. I do like these investigating kind of games. They're pretty, pretty, pretty cool. And the puzzles are definitely helpful too. When I can actually manage to solve them, which sometimes I can't, but... There are two padlocks here. One requires a key, the other is a combination lock. Code is near. Here's the code. It is near. What does it mean? What do you mean it's near? On the phone? No dial tone. Hmm. The door is sealed by two thick chains. We had, um, what was it called? Uh, there was another investigating one. Ooh. 
It was like a pointy click. Tex Murphy. We're going to check out Tex Murphy at some point too. Um, and I also have the Agatha Christie. What is that one called? Agatha Christie ABC Murders or something? I think that was free on... Was it free? Or did I get it on G... I might have got it on GOG for cheap at one point. That sounds kind of interesting too. Alright. What floor are we on? One, two, three. Are we on one? Okay, we're on one. Going up. Whoa. Wow, this is the clubhouse? Right? Uh, that thing looks alive. Don't touch it. I don't even want to think about what happened there. Everybody got killed. Jukebox. A jukebox. Oh my lord, where is Summer? Oh my god. Mom? You're here? Mom? Question mark. What is this? Investigate. There's some blood on this wall. It's too tough. I might need something sharp to get it open. A pin. There was a scalpel hidden inside the wall. Now we've got, got something it. even sharper. Okay, Mom, you right there? It's Mom. She's being held up against the wall by something sticky. I have to get her loose boogers. somehow. Let's go through those boogers. Mom, can you hear me? <sighs> Don't worry, I'll find a way to get you out of here. We'll save you, Mom. Don't worry, we got a scalpel. We'll just cut you down. Oh. Don't use it on Mom, use it on the boogers. Just cut her arms off. Are she is well? zombie. Are you okay? <laughs> oh god, no. she's gonna eat your face. Stab it, quick. <laughs> god damn it, mum. Yes, yeah, <laughs> I don't think it's the real mum. After that, I had to put you away. Oh, she means put her in the asylum. I had no choice. I had to put you away. You started hurting yourself. You started hurting me. I forgive you. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> One single tear. Get me out of this place. No, we must read the thing. What? Mom? It's got a refrigerator. What's in it? There's a weird scarab thing in there. Take it. Got it. There's also something here on the door itself. Let's see. Hopes in jar and inky heart. Rules me. Rule me. That was the one they had. Where do we hit? Oh, that was on the little uh, TV thing. The police station. Okay, interesting. Do we need to rearrange these or something? Are they scrambled? It's like an anagram. Joseph. You can make Joseph out of this. J-O-S-E-P-H. Joseph Rain. You can make Joseph Rain from that one. Uh, what was the other guy's name? another rain here. R-A-I-N. I don't remember anyone else's name, so this is the thing. I'm bad with names. It's my downfall. Can you make a rain out of this one? No. Refrigerator magnets in the shape of Scrabble tiles. The score values are off, though. I remember because the game I played with E the other day. Hopes in jar. 
an inkier heart. Rule me nemesis. Not sure what to make of it all. We'll come back to this. Yeah, I think the numbers are definitely going to have something to do with it. They are all the same though. I's are always one. A's are also one, apparently. E's are two. N's are three. Okay, we'll come back to that. It's the red scarab I found in the refrigerator. When I shake it, I can hear something moving inside. We need the scalpel. I don't even want to look. We need the scalpel back. That combination may... Okay. I'm not sure what to do with those... Oh, what's this? Post -care. Um, yeah, maybe it's to do with the uh, code, the padlock thing we found before. Maybe they would get the code from that somehow. Hi baby girl, living the life over here in Mexico. I have a new family now, and I've forgotten all about you. I don't regret leaving you for a second, since your mum was a whore, and I never loved you anyway. All the best, dad. Thanks, dad. It's not my real dad, don't try to fool me. Oh, was this supposed to be my dad? You killed mom. That wasn't mom. It was some kind of monster. We're all monsters to you, aren't we? Kill her, dad. Jeez. No, it can't be. Dad is definitely Who's a monster. Who's your daddy now, bitch? Well, we're gonna run. Where do you think you're going? There's no exit Stay through that way. Me. God, run. Take him to the monster. We don't have anything we can use, right? That action doesn't oh God. run. Oh wait, was the floor like loose there? We're gonna make him fall down the hole. Come over here, dead. Oh god. Ha ha ha. Father. I've that. been angry with you for as long as I can remember. I've hated you more than words can say. I will never forgive you, Dad, but I'm done being angry. I'm done with letting you have an impact on my life. Good work. Oh, hello, daughter. I should have done this a long time ago. There are so many things I wish I could say to you. You have two brothers and a sister here. They always ask about you, their big sister in the USA. Leaving you was the biggest mistake I ever made. Please forgive me. Dad. Is that from our real dad? Oh. Okay. Is she in here still? Is she just hiding? Get out of there. What the fuck? Oh, she took mum. Where did that... Thing go. The body is gone. Hmm. Okay, we'll come back to those fridge magnets. Do we make a note of those? No. Okay. I feel like we probably still need something else to solve that. The body's inside the fridge, you reckon? Okay, so now this is the cabin, right? This More is... gears grinding away. Something about them makes me uneasy. A small casket is placed in the middle of the cage. Who is it? Dracula. No use. The chain is broken. I'll need to fix it first. Uh, with the scarab? Probably not, but... That action doesn't seem... What else could we use? Hmm. The chain looks br The pen, you reckon? Let me try it. 
pillars. Oh, did I break? Oh no. I see. That action doesn't seem productive. Okay. Okay, I guess I've got to find something else. We'll go back downstairs. Maybe we need to get one of the padlocks off. I guess if we could technically fix the chain if we had the padlock. A small desk lamp. So maybe we do need to solve that. Scrabble one. Actually, I have an idea. Oh no, we want to look at this. Code. The code. Maybe the code is near. It could actually just literally be the code. N e a r. MacGyver would have solved that easily. He would have. Where's MacGyver when you need him, huh? Where is that man? Speak friend and enter. Yes. It's kind of similar. Nothing up. Oh, wait, look at it. Look at the fridge. So near. We have three. Two, one, five. Let's try that. Three, two, one, five. Yep, it's the one. And then I imagine we use the chain from the door or the padlock from the door fix the other chain yes okay, take this with you this padlock might be useful always use chat as a that's a good idea that is a good idea I always forget stuff I do have a physical notepad but Sometimes I forget to do uh, I don't think I need notes. To use the oh wait, what did you take? I oh, just took the padlock. That should do. That should be all we need. This game has been pretty good. It's been like a good that level of difficulty. Apart from that mausoleum puzzle, which was kind of annoying. Alright. A small casket is placed in the Open up. Doesn't open, but I can see a keyhole. A keyhole? Oh maybe the Maybe the key's in this. It has a hard shell. We need to break it. No, stop. That combination. We need to break this. Some. Maybe we need to. Drop this on it. I feel like probably not, but. Uh, maybe. E. Cool. All right. What does it say? It's the small key that I found inside the scarab. There's a keychain attached with a red heart followed by Ma. Ma. Ma's going to be in here. Who is Ma? Oh. 
Do you um, see? It's him. I don't want to see. Do you see? What the fuck is he doing? Yes, kid, I see. Do you know who I am now? I don't like this. I want to go home. You'll what the never fuck is him? Home. We won't let you. When you threw me away, this place took me in, nurtured me. Wait, is this our son? You did? Okay. Um. Did she have an abortion? Is that why there's like the full save things? Okay, <laughs> this is getting I wish things could intense. Be but I can't change the past. It's time for me to let you go. Yeah. Who's that? Who did? The key. Good. The chain. The heart must be pure. <laughs> it did. This is a fleeting moment, it but I've seen did. what comes ahead. Who are you? The dweller in the lake, the conduit. Lily? I feel like I know her, but something cracks inside. I don't understand any of this. What do you want from me? Only what you want from yourself. Nothing more, nothing less. We are nearing the end. He's ready to see you now. Who? Is it granted? Grandpa? Who is? You know who, Kathy. Grandpa. I'm assuming that's what that was meaning. I feel like there was some clue to that earlier. About possibly an abortion, but I'm not sure. Okay, well, let's see what awaits us through the door. Open up. Damn, it's locked. What? I don't see a keyhole. It must be bolted from the other side. Kick it down. Both chains have been removed from the door. What the hell is he supposed to do then? It's one of the chains which used to... It's one of the... Okay, now what to do with the actual chain? Knock? Yeah, can we knock? Oh, wait, what? Oh, we're gonna tie this to something? We've still got the padlock. I see. Okay. All right, we should be good to go. Don't write it, just push the button. Oh. oh. Come on in. You. Where's Granddad? You have ruined everything. Why do you hate us so much? What did we ever do to you? This mirror mirror routine is getting tiring. You again. I'm getting sick of your bullshit. And I'm not afraid anymore. I see you for what you are. You are nothing a ghost. but a beautiful little child, and there's nowhere left for you to hide. Now get the hell out of my way. Yeah, I'm a wee. No. You look a bit pale. No, I'm the original. I am. This can't be happening. I'm speechless. That's a first. Okay, well, I guess we gotta go in. Is it gonna be Grandpa? No, it can't it is be Grandpa. Grandpa. It's so good to see you, Kathy. 
<laughs> Spooky grandpa. You look exactly the same. You haven't aged at all. But how is this even possible? You're you're dead. We buried you. I mean, look around you, Kathy. This probably isn't exactly I've missed you reality right now. I wanted to come back so many times. I know you did. I've been watching you every step of the way. Grandpa. I found out how you tried to get me back from mom and everything. I just wanted you to be safe. I wanted what's best for you. Can I get you? That was perfect somehow? timing. I don't know how all this works. I'm afraid that's not possible. I chose to remain here so we could meet one last time. But I just got you back. I can't bear to lose you again. You don't need me, Kathy. You never did. You're stronger than you'll ever know. I'm so proud of the woman that you've become. Thanks, this, Grandpa. This is so unfair. This fucking sucks. I know, darling. I know. But why are you here then? Is it just another test? No, the tests are over, Kathy. I'm breaking all the rules just by being here. Damn, Grandpa, what a badass. We have worked so hard to make this happen. You can end the cycle, stop the suffering. This whole place needs to be ripped away, separated. I'll do it. That red fiend has no intention of letting your friend go. The only way to save her is to destroy this place. What do I have to do? You have to finish what I started. Ascend and burn them all. Yes, the red ones above feed this place. Make them lick the flames. Lick them. Lick them, you bastards. I don't really know what that means, but okay, I will Wait, make them lick some flames. No. I need to go back up. I need to get out of here. Oh, who's that? Who's that? He's probably not going to let us go, is he? Or is he? he? Is. Ugh, my head. It's like the worst hangover ever. I need to stay focused. Burn them all, Kathy. Burn them all. The flowers. It's the flowers, alright. We're gonna burn the flowers. It's too humid. The lighter alone won't be able to ignite them. Don't worry, we've got some paint thinners. We're good. That should be enough. Burn them all. Look, Gram Grandma, the forest is on fire. for a long time do you remember anything i think isaac drugged me i started feeling dizzy and weak he carried me into the woods i remember hearing the wind in the leaves and the biting cold there was a weird sharp smell in the air too i'm not sure what happened next things are a bit blurry but i had a strange dream with a shimmering girl watching over me it felt like she kept me safe somehow then I woke up on this couch. It must have been your guardian angel. I think so too. Well, I'm glad you're okay, E. Things looked scary there for a bit. Yeah, Mary Elizabeth told me what happened, how you found me and got Isaac arrested. I like how they didn't even take her to a hospital yes, or anything. That poor man. I guess they kind of knew what was wrong for her, but still. Something happened while you were away. What happened? Oh shit. 
Okay. he finally grew a conscience. I can't help but feel bad for him, despite what he did to me. In a way, he was a victim too. At least we stopped him from yes, hurting so. any more people. So, I guess this really is goodbye. A stupid part of me thought that if I would find the truth, I could be close to him again. It's not stupid. We all look for love in the strangest of places. It's an inseparable part of human nature. Jeez, when did you become so philosophical, E? I told you, I feel different. Yeah, me too. Do you think any of it was real? I don't know, E, but I hope we managed to stop it, once and for all. You know, despite everything, I think we made a half decent team. Are they friends now? Really? You do? Well, except for the part where you got yourself kidnapped. Try not to do that next time, okay? Wait, there will be a next time? <laughs> Grandpa's return. Well, there we go. We did it. That was a good one. I like that one. Not too difficult. Apart from the mausoleum puzzle. I feel like maybe I was just being kind of dumb on that one, but apart from that, yeah, it was good. It had a good, like, difficulty level, good soundtrack, the voice acting was pretty good, pixel art was pretty good, uh, some of the, like, mechanics to the inventory system and the, like, dialogue system were quite, quite done as well. Ah, oh, wait, this is a Dave Gilbert game? Um? Or he was just involved in it? Interesting, okay. I thought it kind of had that vibe to it. Um, but yeah. This is good. There's like a director's cut version of this that just came out. I don't know what the differences are. But I might have a look into it. I don't know if I'll end up getting it or not, but... Maybe if there's like... Something worth the... Worth uh, checking out in it. Um, but yes, otherwise, I guess we will jump into something else tomorrow night. I don't know if it does. There was a couple of, like, what I'm assuming are, um, what's the word, like, optional things you could do. Like, when we went to the storage facility, there was, like, some more information we could get regarding, like, our family. I don't know if that affects the ending or not because like we could have technically just not gone there and seen and seen that stuff so yeah maybe 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 they've added multiple endings in the director's cut or something I don't know I'm gonna have a look into it anyway um yeah it was a cool little game um I'm not sure what we're gonna get into next probably not Skyrim just yet I think what I'll do is like we'll do a game in between because uh, that'll give me time to get it set up and also give I guess give you guys a little bit of time to accumulate some more channel points too so you've got those to spend on horses and whatnot so I imagine like a decent chunk went to actually redeeming it so so yeah but um I have a good list of other points and clicks to play now, so because uh, I am kind of feeling like playing playing point and clicks at the moment. So yeah, we'll probably do another point and click after this. Not sure which one. I'll have a look through our options. Yeah, so it was Adventure Game Studio. I thought I had that kind of vibe to it. Block all other options to redeem points. I guess I could, or you could just not do them. Uh -uh, but I mean that is an option I could do that we're gonna see grandpa oh you get out of here yeah that's right 
Don't come back. Um. Yeah. I could block them, I suppose. Or reduce them, or I don't know. Be an option if I had impulse control. I see. That is an option. I could just dis disable them until the Skyrim playthrough and then re enable them after or something. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that is a bad end. Um. Let me, I'm going to have a quick look, actually. I'll just do a little Google search. See what it says. Uh, Kathy Rain Endings. Uh, someone has asked, and it says... What does it say? There are no alternate endings. This is from the developer, so... Hmm, I wonder what the uh, director's cut has. Sequel. Yeah, I wonder if there is a sequel. It seemed like quite well done, so I kind of thought maybe there would be a sequel, but not that I know of. Um, but yeah, I'll have, I'll have a look into how the director's cut works and like what differences there are. I feel like there's probably not anything, probably not anything like an uh, alternate ending or anything. Um, but yeah, as far as I know, there's no sequel. But that would be kind of cool. Um, but yes, I will probably finish up here, I believe. Um, it's been a pretty long week for me, so I'm feeling pretty tired. But I will be back tomorrow. I'll, uh... Have a squiz through our list of point and click games tomorrow and then pick something for us to start tomorrow. I think will be the plan. And then after that we can get into another playthrough of Skyrim with crowd control, which will be fun. There's um, been updates to it as well. So there's more like, I think there's like a ton more enemies you can spawn. Uh, there's some more like weird things you can do. There was something else that they added. I think they added the option to just instantly kill your character, which sounds bad, but well, you know, we'll see what happens. What you care about is the jumping is definitely the best bit, in my opinion. I mean, the horses, the horses come pretty close too, but horses and jumping make the dying cheap. I feel like I might struggle to get through the game if we do that, but I'll try to make it balanced. I did actually, tr I did drop the default prices down like heaps because they were really expensive for some reason. Um, but yeah, I think our plan for this playthrough was to check out the other DLC, which I think is the vampire one. Um, and we were also going to go back and revisit the cave where Lydia met her <laughs> met her end and see if those dragons are actually still down there or not because I don't know if they did they despawn or not so it'll be interesting to see um but yeah we'll, we'll start that one next weekend um tomorrow we'll just do like it we'll do well actually maybe it won't be next weekend we'll do something in between um which we'll start from tomorrow and then once we finish that, we'll jump back into Skyrim, which will be good fun. Uh, but yes, I am going to, I'm going to go get some sleep. Um, but thank you for tuning in. I'm going to just quickly see who's around to host. If there's anyone.